I broke up with my boyfriend a couple months ago. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever dated someone who is so pretty, but so stupid? <laughs> Notice it's girls cheering. All the guys are like, yeah, I brought her here. Keep it moving. I don't want to get in a fight. So men can do that, women really can't. Uh, and the reasoning isn't because men are dicks, there's nothing like that. It has to do with the wiring of our brains. Men are visually stimulated. Women, unfortunately, are cerebrally stimulated. Men are visual creatures. They have to be attracted to a woman before they can get to know how amazing she is inside. They have to be, a doodle date a popsicle stick if it's got a wig, like it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's why it's tough, because on the one hand, you want to be a feminist and you want to be like, I don't have to get ready for a man, but that's what they're attracted to, just the littlest bit. Everybody's got that one girlfriend that's like, I don't get it, I volunteer and I rescue animals and I'm very sweet. And it's like, yeah, but you're so ugly, so you have to just brush the hair. Just anything, one tooth. You don't have to have it out there. He cannot check out your personality from across the room. That's all I'm saying. No man has ever done that. No man's ever seen a woman who's sitting there like nibbling on her nubs with like a gill <laughs> and walked up and been like, excuse me, you're hideous, but you look like you might enjoy Tom Clancy, light nipple play and barbecue. Is that true? <laughs> and women do stuff to make themselves physically attractive. Even if you're not trying that hard, most of the stuff we do, it's just to get men's attention. Shiny hair, why is your hair shiny? Because it makes you look fertile. Thanks, Pantene. But that's why. There's no reason other to have it shiny other than to get attention. You're not like deflecting a car light when you're running. That's why you want shiny hair. Big eyes, look at me. My lips look like a vagina, and my boobs look like a butt, and my butt looks like boobs. I'm a Mrs. fucking Potato Head mate with me. You may not like it, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> Women are cerebrally stimulated. So that's why we're always saying the number one thing we look for in a man is a conversation, right? Someone I can talk to. Sense of humor. I have dated gutter goblins who were just like really funny and smart. I just wanna to talk to him, it's sexy. Conversation, I just want someone I can talk to. At, just sit there and breathe, Steve. We need that back and forth. We have to be able to talk and it's something that we need and yet we're chastised for it. You ever been called a chatty Kathy? By an idiot, but still, ever been called that? Call up a couple of girls just yipping away, huh? Oh, she'll talk your ear off. Bunch of giblets in a hen house. No one says giblets in a hen. That means the chicken's already dead. <laughs> women are always chastised for, for talking a lot. The reason women talk goes back thousands of years. The reason women talk a lot, have a proclivity for speaking, uh, is when men would go out and hunt and fight and get animals, otherwise known as hunting, <laughs> go get an animal. Women stayed behind. <laughs> And we raised the kids and we made food. And because the world wasn't really a thing yet, we exchanged survival secrets. We would tell each other things like, oh, don't eat that berry. It'll make your husband's dick fall off. <laughs> don't wipe with that leaf. I found in my studies that it really hurts your vagina. You had to exchange this information to keep your tribe alive. Now that's devolved to what color lip gloss, but it's the exchange of information. Girls gather and then share. So guys, when we're talking and it bothers you, just know we're trying to make it so your dick doesn't fall off. That's all we're doing. <laughs> trying to help you. Trying to help you live. Nothing wrong with it.